You're watching Live at 5 on Live Local CBS 3. Good evening, I'm Natalie Grant. Kristen is off tonight. Thanks for joining us. Calling it a brighter day after a long, dark winter. Minnesota's governor signed legislation today focused on funding the state and its COVID-19 recovery. Governor Tim Wall signed the bills in front of people impacted by the pandemic, including nurses, frontline workers, and students. He says that it focuses on helping those who struggled the most recover. That includes the largest investment in education in 15 years, which Wall says recognizes the challenges teachers and students faced. The governor thanked lawmakers from both sides of the aisle for working hard to pass a strong budget. To be able to come together, reach compromises, not let partisanship uh, override the commonalities that we have, and get a budget that's for Minnesota. So this is a good day. Wall says the latest numbers show the state's economy is rebounding. He says Minnesota's finances are strong. The budget replenished the fiscal reserves and rainy day fund. And in Wisconsin today, lawmakers have passed their state budget and sent it over to the governor. The state Senate sent the $87 billion spending plan to Governor Tony Evers last night. Evers can sign it or use his partial veto powers to rewrite the document. The governor will have six days to take action on the budget once it reaches his desk if he does nothing it automatically becomes law. Today, Minnesota hit a major vaccination milestone. 70% of adults are now vaccinated against COVID-19. Governor Tim Walz made that announcement this afternoon, just three days ahead of President Joe Biden's 4th of July goal. Minnesota is leading the Midwest in percentage of total population fully vaccinated. Over the past week, Minnesota has averaged 84 new cases of COVID-19 each day. That means cases are growing at their slowest rate since the pandemic started. Fewer than 100 Minnesotans are hospitalized with the virus right now, the lowest number since April of 2020. Governor Tim Walz tweeted his congratulations and thanked those today who rolled up their sleeves to get the shot. He says though it's a day to celebrate, the hard work continues. He encouraged urges everyone to kin continue their vaccination efforts. Another change could soon be filed against three former Minneapolis police officers charged in the death of George Floyd. Jay Kwong, Thomas Lane, and Tao To are currently charged with aiding and abetting second-degree murder and manslaughter. The Minnesota Court of Appeals ruled that prosecutors may file to add aiding and abetting to the third-degree murder charge. The appeals court Wednesday sent the case back to the Hennepin County District Judge Peter Cahill. He denied prosecutors' motion to add those charges against former officers back in February. February. The proper interpretation of Minnesota's third-degree murder statute is still being considered. Cahill sentenced Derek Chauvin last Friday to 22 and a half years in prison for the death of Floyd. Those three officers are scheduled for their trial in March. They and Chauvin also face federal civil rights charges in Floyd's death. The president and first lady traveled to Florida, where Surfside residents are still struggling with the collapse of Champlain Towers South Building. Rescue operations there have paused today due to safety concerns. So far, 18 people are confirmed dead in the tragedy, while more than 140 people are still unaccounted for. Skylar Henry reports the latest from the White House. Our message today is that we're here for you. Words of comfort from the Consoler-in-Chief as the community of Surfside grieves last week's tragic condo building collapse. The President and First Lady met behind closed doors with the families of building residents. They had basic heart-wrenching questions. Will I be able to recover the body of my son or daughter, my husband? We did hear audible sounds and, and they were searching for uh, a female voice is what we heard for, for several hours and eventually we didn't hear her voice anymore. Rescue efforts paused early Thursday due to concerns over the structural integrity of the part of the building still standing. Engineers and experts are working on options to continue operations. Obviously, uh, we believe that a cert continuing searching is something that's very, very important. What you're doing here is incredible. Earlier, President Biden thanked local first responders. The president is also pledging federal assistance in the rescue operations. A FEMA official says they'll have around 500 personnel on the ground by the end of the day. I think I have the power and we'll know shortly that uh, to be able to uh, pick up 100% of the cost for the county and the state over the first 30 days. We want to make sure, we all, the world wants to make sure that a tragedy of this nature never, ever happens again. Meanwhile, tributes from around the community continue to pour in. Skyler Henry, CBS News, the White House. 
Officials in Surfside say rescue missions will resume as soon as it's safe to do so. In the days since Bill Cosby was released from prison, many of his 60 accusers have come forward sharing their disappointment with the news. Yesterday, the Pennsylvania Supreme Court vacate, vac vacated the 83-year-old actor-comedian sexual assault conviction on a technicality that came up during his trial. Cosby was sent so in, sentenced in 2018 to 10 years in prison. He only served about two Cosby has denied those allegations. Now, regardless, some sexual assault prevention advocates are concerned that Cosby's release sends the wrong message to survivors of assault. They're worried it may discourage people from coming forward with stories of their own abuse. CBS 3's Emma Quinn joins us now. She spoke with a organization in Duluth today to hear more about the message to those struggling to come forward and find justice, Emma. That's right, Natalie. So today I heard from Duluth's program for aid to victims of sexual assault, or PAVSA, and they're encouraging survivors of abuse not to be discouraged from speaking up despite the latest high-profile court case outcome. PAVSA's executive director, Sarah Nimi, says though the news of a convicted sexual assault offender being released can be triggering and difficult to hear, it's also not new to survivors. She says survivors often experience many barriers when it comes to seeking he healing, accountability, and justice. Because of this, Nimi says about two-thirds of sexual assaults go unreported. They say it takes a lot of courage to report, and the organization stresses there are many resources available to help and support survivors. No matter what the outcome of reporting is, your story is still valid and important, and people believe you no matter what the outcome is. And I think, you know, that's the important part. Nimi says it is important for survivors to continue to take care of themselves and reach out if they need help. She says Cosby's case just showcases how much more work needs to be done locally and nationally in order to seek justice for survivors. Now, if you or someone you know is a victim of sexual assault and needs help, you can reach PAVSA's 24-hour helpline at 218-726-1931. You can find that number on your screen and uh, on our website at cbs3duluth.com. Now, Emma, as for Cosby, I know that you said that he only served about two years of his sentence. Um, could prosecutors ask for a retrial with this case? At this time, no. The co high court's ruling states he can't be retried for assault crime, but however, the ruling could technically be appealed to the U.S. Supreme Court. But as of right now, survivor or prosecutors have yet to say whether they plan to do so or not. All right, sounds good. Emma Quinn live for us in the studio tonight. Thanks, Emma. Well, here is a live look from Canal Park tonight. As you can see, those waves are rolling in quick. Now, due to those windy conditions, the Duluth Fire Department has issued a red flag warning and are asking people to stay out of the water. There is a high rip current risk on Park Point Beach. The warning stays into effect until 10 a.m. Dave joins us for a quick look at the weather. It was a nice day to get out there on the beach as far as temperatures wise, but those rip currents always make it a little bit dangerous out yeah, there. Yeah, the weather service also has an alert out for those rip currents. They say it's in effect until 9 p.m., but the bottom line is not a good night to go swimming. So temperature wise, it's a little bit cool by Park Point too and Wisconsin Point because an easterly wind that's creating the rip current threat is also taking temperatures down. So communities near the lake only had high temps in the 60s today while it stayed reasonably warm into the lower 80s farther inland. Tomorrow, we all go back to the lower 80s as the easterly wind is replaced by a westerly wind brought in by a high pressure system that's going to bring in sunny and warm conditions through the weekend. In fact, warm enough to crack the 90s for just about every town come this weekend through the 4th of July. Short-term forecast says tonight partly cloudy with a low of 50 and then for tomorrow 83 degrees for the high temp in general with a mostly sunny sky. From 83 tomorrow we go towards 90 on Saturday. It'll break on Monday, though, and we'll get our next rain chance, and we'll talk about all of this, plus another look at the rip current map, coming up in a few more minutes. All right, thanks, Dave. Still to come and live at 5, a local STEM organization in Hibbing recently received a grant. More on their mission as we take you around the Northland just after the break. CBS 3 News is brought to you by Ralph Eye Care Specialists. Summer is here. Enjoy it in style with hot fashions for the whole family. Find big bargains on sandals, rubber boots, and trail shoes from Keen, Teva, Merrill, Chaco, Columbia, and the North Face. Get your family's summer fit with the entire line of Columbia and the North Face clothing. New colors, styles on capris, tees, shorts, rain wind, and fleece jackets, and UPF sun-rated clothing. Get smart wool and darn tough socks for the whole family. Northwest Outlet Superior will make sure you look good. 
Hi, I'm Steve Little with Bath Planet. We are starting summer out with a great special on all our bathroom products. Right now, you can get 20% off your entire project and zero down, zero interest, and zero payments until 2023. Get your project off your to-do list now and not pay for it until later. Go to bathplanet.com or call us today to take advantage of this amazing offer. Bath Planet, out of this world service, down to earth price. They aren't just barrels. It isn't just highway work. It's a community investment and it will create benefit for years. In a world that can be in such a rush, here's a place to keep it slow and steady. Every driver makes a difference. So stay alert, eliminate distractions, and mind your speed. Every driver makes a difference. Your good choices behind the wheel, they're good for us all. Every driver makes a difference. Sponsored by the Wisconsin DOT. Sore throats, sports injuries. As an Appleton pediatrician, I've helped countless children and their parents feel better. Protecting the health of our kids, that's my calling. So when you ask me, can Wisconsin parents trust the COVID-19 vaccines for kids? My answer is yes. The COVID-19 vaccines safely protect kids ages 12 and up, and getting it is important. Ask your child's doctor what they think. This show is about connection. Not even 2020 and socially distancing ourselves are going to get in the way of that. The Kelly Clarkson Show on CBS3. Welcome back to the CBS3 News Live at 5. Here is a live look at the can of worms tonight as the holiday traffic is sure to start up soon. Officials are warning drivers to slow down and stay alert over the holiday weekend. Dave will be in with this week's full forecast in just a few minutes. But first, let's take a look around the re region. A weekend full of 4th of July fun is in store for places from Ashland to Winter, Wisconsin. We're bringing you the details of their celebrations as we take you around the Northland city by city. Tonight we're starting in Hibbing where a local STEM organization has received a grant from the Women's Foundation of Minnesota. A $14,000 grant was awarded to the Range Engineering Council to support their hashtag night programming. The programming takes place on the Iron Range Engineering Campus and shows high school girls about opportunities in engineering careers and gives them some hands-on experience. The Range Engineering Council puts on several other events throughout the year promoting STEM across the Iron Range. And next, we continue our 4th of July weekend preview in Ashland, where they have big celebrations on deck for this weekend. For starters, the carnival is back. The Stripes Carnival will be open on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday at the Bay, Bay Area Civic Center parking lot. The annual parade will take place on Sunday at 11 a.m. And on Sunday night, they'll be featuring live jazz music, the annual fire run through the town, and, of course, fireworks over the Schwamigan Bay at 10 p.m. Now, for more information on the weekend fun, we'll have a link link listed on our website. And we wrap up in Winter, Wisconsin for another opportunity to celebrate Independence Day. Their July Jubilee is just packed with activities for the whole family. Things kick off Friday night with a concert at Doc Smith Park. Come Saturday, there's yard games and a tractor pull and, of course, a cornhole tournament. And then on Sunday, they, there will be a color run, the main parade, the kitty parade, a volleyball tournament, a craft show, and so, so, so much more. The night wraps up with the Queen coronation and a fireworks display. For a full list of events, you can head to our website, cbs3duluth.com. If there's something going on in your neighborhood that you think we should know about, send us an email, and it might be featured as we go around the Northland, city by city. Still to come on the CBS 3 News Live at 5, the summer festivities are just in full swing, including the return of one annual rodeo. We'll have more on that event in just a few minutes. An easterly wind made it cooler by delight today. 71 the top temp up over the hill at the airport in Duluth. 76 is the normal. 99, wow, they partied like it was 99 in 1883. We could get into the 90s once we get into the weekend for the 4th of July. Will we get that high? Well, I'll talk about the odds coming up after our break. Just like gray hair, cataracts are a common side effect of aging. A cataract is the natural clouding of the lens inside the eye. At Ralph Eye Care Specialists, our board-certified ophthalmologists offer cataract surgery to help you see better, longer. 
Our team will work with you to create a pleasant surgical experience and a great surgical result. Call now to learn more about cataract surgery and to schedule a cataract evaluation at Ralph Eye Care Specialists. Blackbird Casino Resort invites you to join us for our anniversary weekend celebration. We start the weekend Friday night, August 13th with legendary comedian Gabriel Iglesias and the Beyond the Fluffy World Tour Go Big or Go Home in the Otter Creek Event Center. Then the Bear Heads Outdoors, Saturday, August 14th with Tantric, Trap, Hinder, and Scott Stapp, the voice of Creed. For more information and to get your tickets, go to BlackBearCasinoResort.com. Make the Bear your place for a weekend anniversary celebration. Do you worry about going to the dentist? Well, relax. The Carefree Dental Card is now available in your area. Call the number on your screen and we'll send your actual card at no cost today. With the Carefree Dental Card, you go to the dentist whenever you need and you instantly pay a lot less. The Carefree Dental Card is just $15.95 a month. So call now and make going to the dentist carefree. Call 1-800-945-8449 to receive your free Carefree Dental Card information kit. Gail King, Anthony Mason, and Tony DeCopel. Weekday mornings on CBS. Order your 2022 Polaris snowmobile now from Duluth Lawn and Sports. How the Moose Lake community is standing up to suicide one ribbon at a time. The Radisson Hotel has a new special suite. More details on that later. Tonight at 6 on CBS 3. CBS News Sunday Morning with Jane Pauley on CBS. Now, the CBS 3 Duluth WeatherMax forecast with meteorologist Dave Anderson. Well, it's not a great night for swimming for Park Point or Wisconsin Point. In fact, the National Weather Service has issued a beach hazard alert for the danger of rip currents until at least 9 o'clock here tonight. Duluth Fire says until 10 o'clock. To play it safe, safe, wait until tomorrow when it gets warm again. Temperatures only in the 60s near the lake here today, but could be in the 80s by tomorrow, making a jump in the lake rather refreshing. And especially come Saturday, Sunday, when all zones go into the 90s, I think a lot of folks will be flocking to the beaches right after the parades. Uh, hopefully after Superior's Parade Saturday or Sunday morning. It's going to be a good one. It always is, 11 o'clock. And lots of parades all over the rest of the region here for the 3rd and the 4th. And they should do all right as far as the weather goes because high pressure is taking over to keep it dry and sunny and awfully warm. Conditions right now currently... At the airport in Duluth show, today's cool down came from that easterly wind that's going 10 miles per hour. It's only 67 at the airport. 59% is our relative humidity and 30.18 inches of mercury. 1,022 millibars is our barometric pressure reading. And now that the lows have gone and a high has come, it's up all over the place for our barometer readings. Current temperatures up inland still, looking at 80 in Siren and 79 Grand Rapids, 82 International Falls and or there in the 80s too, but by the lake, the easterly wind has made it only 57 in Grand Marais, 64 for Two Harbors, 63 in Superior and La Pointe, 67 Ashland, and 66 in Ironwood. Tomorrow, I think we all cross into the lower 80s after a dip tonight into the 40s and 50s for our low temps. Now, the Doppler map shows the low pressure systems that were with us for a couple of days have migrated and taken their spotty shower chances with them. Doppler indicates there are a few heat of the day sprinkles trying to bubble up where the cool air zone meets the warm air zone, but those aren't adding up to much of anything. And so the Doppler map right now shows calmer conditions with us, and that's the way it should roll tonight as well, as a high pressure system has taken over the upper Midwest to make it dry tonight, and probably through tomorrow and the weekend as well. So talking about the weekend, that high pressure stays in control, and it makes it pretty warm around our region. Yeah, the 90s are possible Saturday and Sunday. Sunday, but already it'll cool into the 80s again by Monday as this low pressure system comes our way to bring us a thunder chance that could last for about three days. And then that'll really take our temperatures back down into the 70s again later on next week. Tonight, well, Minnesota low temps should run about 48 to 54. Partly cloudy sky with only a very slight chance for those sprinkles along the boundary between the warm and the cool. Into Wisconsin and Michigan, low temps there, about 45 to 50 with a partly cloudy sky. 
Tomorrow in Wisconsin and Michigan, 80 to 85 for the high temps with mostly sunny conditions. And for Minnesotans, upper 70s to about 80 by the lake and pretty close to 85, even 88 degrees inland, a sign of the warmth to come for the weekend where I'm conservatively thinking we'll all touch 90 both Saturday and Sunday. Away from the lake, it could be even hotter than that. But for those who don't like it so hot, Natalie, it already starts to dial down Monday when that rain chance rolls in, will fall to 84. And then the rest of next week, well, at least two days worth of it, will drop back into the lower 70s. Yeah, a rain, uh, hot 4th of July is much better than a rainy 4th of July, but people just got to remember to stay hydrated and cool down if they need it. And the sunscreen, too, if your complexion requires it. Yes. Like mine, translucent. <laughs> Fair enough. All right. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Dave. Fair enough. <laughs> And continuing with 4th of July events, Superior is also gearing up for a fun weekend. The city is hosting its 24th annual Independence Day celebration at Barker's Island on Sunday. Along with live music, a parade, and a car show, Superior will also light off its fireworks display at 10 on Sunday night. Mayor Jim Payne is planning for a big crowd, especially after having to cancel their fireworks on such short notice last summer. I mean, we really need a party, and I think... Uh, the, the pandemic is largely ending here in Douglas County. We have great vaccination numbers. We have great infection numbers. I think we have uh, exactly two active cases in the entire county right now. We have a full schedule of those events. And if you'd like to see our very own meteorologist Dave Anderson out at the parade, you can head to CBS3Duluth.com for that schedule. And staying in Wisconsin, a popular rodeo is back after COVID forced it to cancel last year. The 67th Spooner Rodeo will be held next weekend. Organizers expect attendance to be high. Rodeo Queen Samantha Kennel says Spooner is getting fired up for the big day and believes this year will be a full rodeo. I think we're expected to have um, a full rodeo, so we can only sell as many tickets as we do seats in the rodeo, um, which we have quite a few. Um, but we are expected to be pretty, pretty full if not sold out this year. The rodeo venue can hold up to 6,000 people, which doubles as Spooner's population. A link to buy those tickets can be found on our website, cbs3duluth.com. Well, it's that time of the show where we get to talk about adoptable pets. Today's pet comes from Range Regional Animal Rescue in Hibbing. This is Penny. She's a two-year-old purebred German Shepherd. Penny is quiet, or is quite the young lady. She is full of energy and loves to go, go, go. Our friends at the shelter tell us that she gets along with all kinds of people, but can get a little excited sometimes. They say she's a great girl who needs attention and love. Oh, she's so cute. If you'd like to set up an appointment to adopt Penny, you can call the number that's listed on your screen. Still to come live at 5, people in Wisconsin may soon be able to participate in sports betting. Details on the major change after the break. Don't miss the giant three-day sale at Home Furniture. Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, get up to an extra 10% off sale prices, plus no money down, three-year special financing, and free shipping. This Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, the giant three-day sale, only at Home Furniture. You need fast, reliable internet, but it's not a one-size-fits-all world. At Mediacom, we have a price and plan for everyone. You can get our starting internet service for $19.99 a month for a year. And with that comes a great deal of speed. We're talking 60 meg, because unlike other providers, we want you to have fast internet from the start. Extreme speeds go up to one gig with lots of options to choose from. So let's talk. Call us today at 844-EXTREME2. Hi, I'm Steve Little with Bath Planet. We are starting summer out with a great special on all our bathroom products. Right now, you can get 20% off your entire project and zero down, zero interest, and zero payments until 2023. Get your project off your to-do list now and not pay for it until later. Go to bathplanet.com or call us today to take advantage of this amazing offer. Bath Planet, out of this world service, down to earth price. As a Medford registered nurse, I'm not just treating patients. 
I'm taking care of my neighbors. Through challenging surgeries and cases of pneumonia, I'm always on their side when things get tough. So when you ask me, as a Wisconsin registered nurse, do I trust the COVID-19 vaccines? My answer is yes. The COVID-19 vaccines are safe and getting one is important. Ask your family doctor what they think. Breaking news, original reporting. How do you hope to change the world? And the good things in life. Live music right. and variety. Where are you going to get that? Here. Join Jeff Gore, Dana Jacobson, and Michelle Miller on CBS This Morning, Saturday. Just when you thought it was safe. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. To get back in the dating pool. I feel like there's just, like, something that I'm, like, not seeing. I don't think they know what they got coming for them. I know it's not the game. I just want to be able to be happy and fall in love here, and I just, I don't feel it at all. You're going to need a bigger island. Can't even hold it together. Love Island, new season Wednesday after Big Brother on CBS. Home Sleep Express presents Casper Mattresses. You'll love your tomorrow when you sleep on a Casper tonight. Now get 15% off any Casper mattress, plus no money down, six-year special financing. Casper Mattresses, now at Home Sleep Express. Gail King, Anthony Mason, and Tony DeCopo. Weekday mornings on CBS. Wisconsin's governor signed a deal today to allow sports betting and event wagering in the state. Governor Tony Evers signed that deal along with the Oneida Nation. He announced that the two amended the tribe's gambling compact to allow wagering on professional sports league drafts, professional sporting events, including NFL and NBA games, and on nationally televised award shows. Upon the signing of the agreement, Evers said this was a big day for Wisconsin and their partnership with the Oneida Nation. But it's also historic, and frankly, most important to me personally, is a reaffirmation of our commitment as a state to our continued partnership with the Oneida Nation, Oneida Nation and Wisconsin's tribal nations. Bets will not be allowed on college sports elections for public college sports rather elections and for public office or events with participants who are under 19 years old. The agreement is still subject to approval by the U.S. Department of Interior Bureau of Indian Affairs. No word yet on what percentage the take will go to the state. A Wisconsin woman convicted of stabbing a classmate to please Slenderman will be released. Anissa Weir was 12 years old when she and a friend lured a classmate into the woods and stabbed her 19 times. The classmates survived. Now 19, Weir asked the judge to be released from a mental health facility, saying she is no longer a threat to anyone and she is sorry for what she did. The judge granted her request pending the part uh, per participation of a release plan. The state has 60 days to create that plan, and that means Weir will be held in a facility until at least early September. Coming up on the CBS Evening News, a major setback in the search for victims in Surfside, Florida. Could the rest of the building be in danger of falling? Plus, Trump Organization charged the former president's company and chief financial officer accused of a 16-year tax evasion scheme. Could Trump's associate turn on the former president? And the inspiring story tonight of a school custodian who ended up teaching everyone a lesson. That's all tonight here on the CBS Evening News. If you love them enough to crawl into a play place to get them to come down, then surely you'll check NHTSA.gov slash the right seat to make sure they're in the right car seat. When Grandma suggested cookies, Kyle wasn't expecting the new Nestle Toll House Chocolate Chip Cookie Blizzard. Two beloved treats, soft-baked Nestle Toll House Chocolate Chip Cookies and world-famous DQ Soft Serve, all in one treat. The good times roll when these two get together, just like G-Ma and her G-Son. Making memories while mixing two favorites. With the Nestle Toll House Chocolate Chip Cookie Blizzard. Only at DQ. Get it delivered at DQ.com. Funerals can be emotionally devastating for a family to go through. Besides the sorrow, loved ones are left with the high cost of arranging a funeral. Funeral Advantage was formed to help protect your family when they need it most. It pays your loved ones up to $20,000 immediately for funeral and any other expenses. It's a good feeling to know that my family will be taken care of if anything happens to me. Funerals can easily cost $9,000 or more, but government benefits pay only $255, leaving your loved ones to pay the rest. 
It's so easy, just answer a few simple health questions. This is so affordable, even for someone like me who's on a fixed income. If you're 40 to 85, get information on how to protect your family. Funeral Advantage is something we all need. There's no risk or obligation. Call now. Get the facts about how easy it is to protect your family. There's no risk or obligation. Don't wait. Call the number on your screen now. Mining. It's a part of Minnesota's history that affects everyone in the Northland still to this day. Join me, Kristen Bakke, every Tuesday for Eye on Mining. Brought to you by Range Regional Airport. Watch Eye on Mining with Kristen Bakke every Tuesday at 10. Only on live local CBS3. This show is about connection. Not even 2020 and socially distancing ourselves are going to get in the way of that. Woo! The Kelly Clarkson Show on CBS3. Welcome back to the CBS 3 News Live at 5. Here's a live look from Canal Park on this Thursday evening. Let's take a quick look back at today's top stories and see what's coming up at 6 o'clock. Tonight at 5, we learned the latest on the legislation signed by the governor today. The bill focuses on funding the state and coming back from the pandemic. And coming up tonight at 6, we visit popular, a popular Grand Marais business who is among several struggling to find those workers. That's your CBS 3 News at 5. The evening news is coming up next. We'll see you right back here tonight at 6.